Hi, I'm Connie from The Painted Photographer. I'm back this week again, um, but I have a thrift haul for you this time. I didn't get very many projects painted, and I wanted to make sure that I had a video that would go and be posted because so many of you have said you enjoyed um, seeing my videos every week. So here's a video. You're going to be shocked at my prices. So stay tuned. At the end, I will do a couple little projects, just a small ones, so I can still get this video posted in a timely manner. So thanks for watching and I'll um, see you at the end. First of all, I got candlesticks. The first ones I got were these two and they were at the thrift store. All of these were there on the same day. So someone must have gotten rid of their candle collection. So these are very heavy. They're gold, very heavy. Then I got these, four of them. So these are really grody. Like someone had a green candle and they're really grody. They need to be cleaned up. They're really, really dirty. The bad part about thrift hauls is you have to clean it. Sometimes they're really gross. So there's four of these. They are all, no, these two are the same size. So those will all be listed on my website after I clean them up. Oh, forgot to tell you. I paid 57 cents for them, for all of these. There is a label on the bottom of this one, but tells me nothing. Um, solid brass. So these are, this one is solid brass anyway. I don't know, that one I don't think is. This one is also solid brass. So a lot of these are really good. That was a good find. Lavender, who doesn't like lavender? So this pot was $2.97 and it has the lavender in it. The lavender is good. I really like the lavender and this pot is good. So $2.97, I thought that was a really good deal. I'll clean these up because they're a bit on the dirty side, but all you have to do is put it in a paper bag with some salt and shake them around and I'll clean them all nice and sparkly for you. I don't know if I'll paint that pot or not. Stay tuned until the end to see if I do. Paula Dean slotted spoons. They are, they have the copper handle on the back and 47 cents for these. They're Paula Deen, they're two different sizes. I won't do anything with them because I really do like the copper hanger on the back side. And uh, I'll just clean them up. Maybe I'll give them a nice coconut oil finish on them so they their grain comes out and looks pretty. So here's a handmade cookie cutter. It has some holes in that side, some um, scalloped edges that made the cookie cutter. It looks definitely handmade. This I paid 19 cents for, and it does stand, like if you want it to um, be in your de home decor, it does stand. So that was a good deal. Jadeite plates. That jadeite, jadeite green. This was, I got these um, when I didn't think that they knew what they had because I've seen they price jadeite a little bit higher, but these they priced at 39 cents a piece. So this is the jadeite plate, they're 39 cents. An Avon salt shaker with strawberries on it and a strawberry on the top. It has no plug in the bottom. That's the hard part is there's no plug. Um, but it is Avon. It was $2.97. So they did know what they had in this to market to $3. But I still thought that that was a really good deal. And, and I can post that on my website. It does say 22 karat gold, which is this up here. Avon is a good collector. If you ever go to your thrift store and you see anything Avon, it's a good item to grab. This little blue bird bath type thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it reminded me of a bird bath and I do like this color blue glass. And I thought that putting a bird in top of here would be really sweet with maybe a nest or something. So I did pick this up. It was 97 cents for this. 
couple of sweet bunnies. Bunnies, these bunnies are not Eastery bunnies. They're just springtime bunnies, um, but they have the flowers on them, the little roses, and they're very sweet. There are no chips or cracks in these at all. This salt shaker, I don't know, I just liked it. I have no idea um, why I like it. I think just because it's clear glass and it has ridges, it has that old fashioned metal top on it. Maybe it just reminded me of my childhood or something, I'm not sure. But it was 97 cents and I thought it was really sweet. A breadboard. So when you come across breadboards and they have embossing on them that's engraved, don't be afraid to pick them up because you can take the um, uh, mudding, what am I trying to say? Plaster of Paris, you can take Plaster of Paris and put that over the top and then sand it over and you won't see that anymore. This will make a really nice garden sign. It's had it's seen its days as a cutting board and it's, it's time to retire it and fix it up into something else. Here is a Hobby Lobby sign. This was not priced, oh, I forgot to tell you, this was 97, oh, this one was not priced either. So that one wasn't priced, this one isn't priced, and then I picked up one more that was priced and I'll tell you, how much I got all three of them for. So this one has a nice hook in the back. That's another thing that you're looking for is a nice hook and a place for these to hang. This is paper on here. I'll just sand that off and I'll put something else on. Here is another sign and it has a fork on the hanger. Not so sure that I like the fork thing, but we'll see. We'll see what I put on the top of here because I'm going to um, sand this off and put something else on here. So this sign was the only one that was marked and it was marked 97 cents. So I got all three of these for 97 cents a piece. I love stoneware pottery. This has no marking on the bottom, but I liked this color. I like the brown look to it. It's kind of bluish green and it's just a bowl and it can hold whatever you want and it is stoneware, so I liked this. There was no price on it. I think they charged me 97 cents for it. Here is a concrete birdie. So this concrete birdie will be mine. He is all chippy. He's got some goodness on him. He's got a sweet little face. He was priced a little bit higher, but it was 297 for him, but he is definitely concrete. So he's gonna be mine. Maybe I'll fix him up and I'll show you that in this video so you can see how I redid the concrete bird. Here's a tin box. I really, really like boxes. And this one obviously had a design on it. It's got the gold in the inside. It's old. It doesn't close quite right, but it does close. So if you like to hide your mail, on your table, like if you only like to deal with your mail once a week, but it comes every day, this is a good spot to put mail. Put this on your table, stick your mail in there, and it'll be pretty until you go through your mail. Here is a cherub angel for the garden. It has a chunk out here and a chunk out here. That doesn't bother me whatsoever. The little face was sweet. It was a sweet little look of the cherub, the angel. It's um, all concrete. It's very, very heavy. It was $1.97. Nope. This one on the top says 97 cents. The one on the bottom says $1.97, but I'm pretty sure they charged me 97 cents, which was on the top of her head. So this I will do in this video also. Well, I'll do the bird and this little angel together. And we're gonna fix this up so you can see if you find something that's concrete, something garden, you can fix it up and it'll be just fine and you won't even know that it's chipped. I got a basket. This one will go at my store because it is too big to ship, but it's a very, very nice basket. It's, I like to make sure my baskets are sturdy and don't squish right in. This one's not squishing in. It's very fine. It'll hold all kinds of things. It's 97 cents and it's pretty. This basket is a mamma jamma basket. 
it was $2.97 for this one, but I have a basket like this in my hallway and my flip-flops go in here. The summer shoes can just go right inside this basket. So this one will this one will also go to the store in Gilman and that I that I have and I'll sell it there. It'll go as is. I won't do anything to this. This was a really good deal. Next, I got the silverware box. I like to pick these up. I've done a number of them. You gotta take all that stuff out of there. And I've done a number of them. They turn out really, really cute. And I don't like to spend a whole lot on them. So if they, if since I do have some, I have a, I don't pick them up unless they got a really good price. So this was 67 cents. That's a good price. Everything at the thrift store was so gardeny, and I'm into garden right now. I'm into birds, and I just want summer to happen. So here's a shelf with some bird houses on them. The bird houses are all one solid piece. They need a little updating though. So they have the hanger on it, which is good. I always wanna look for a hanger. And then it's got the Spanish moss that we'll take out of there. It does have some little perches that we'll use and we'll fix these up really cute. Here is a sign, a wood sign. It was 47 cents. Sorry, this was $1.97. This garden sign was 47 cents. I'll sand that down, put something else on there. Give it a nice makeover. $1.97 for this water can. Here's some of those plastic eggs, which would look really cute. We'll try it right now. Would look really cute in this blue dish. Doesn't that look better? That's the vision that I had. And maybe it has too many eggs. This birdie was had too many babies so we'll we'll get rid of some of those and you know what I think I'll paint them paint them like a robin's egg blue so this sprinkling can I did have a different thought for it it does have some styrofoam in it a dollar 97 for this I am gonna paint it I'm not gonna leave it this green it's embossed letters so you can feel those letters another basket this one's got leather around it and wood it is not going anywhere it's also got wire forms so this is a very, very sturdy basket. It was $1.97 for this. Another basket. This one is also made of wood, $2.97 for this one. It has a wood bottom. It's got wood base. It has wood handles that are um, weaved on. This is a really sweet basket. A couple more items. These birdhouses are plastic but they have hangers on them. They have a corn cob pipe, <laughs> but it has a screw on the back side. So I know I can get that corn cob pipe out of there. I know I can paint them with a little bit of salt wash and make them look not so plasticky and they will be sweet um, with a little upcycling. They were 97 cents. That was a good deal. Here is a birdhouse got a little wire or a metal bird up here with some sticks and it's like nailed in there. I'm not sure how I'm gonna update this one. Maybe just paint the roof color or paint down here and leave this natural, give it just a little bit of a flare. I don't know, we'll see. Here's a just a wood blank, but it had an easel on it, which was really, really good in my eyes. And it's 97 cents for this. It'll be really quick to put some rice paper or decoupage paper or something over the top of that and make a quick little craft item. Here's a tote. This is a wooden tote box. It has some wood flowers on it. They were cute, but it needs a paint job. It needs a new paint job. It was $2.97 for them. I don't mind this green color, but I don't like all the dots around here so we're gonna give it a facelift maybe we'll still go with green maybe the DIY Avery I have some birch buckets so this is white birch and it's a little bucket with a handle there's a bigger one puppy dog must have chewed that one off which 
that's no big deal. They do sit together, they got wooden bottoms. They're great for garden decor, putting a flower in them, something like that. They have a metal banding on them. I'm not so sure about some of this peeling wood bark, so I might try and update them just a little bit. They were, one of these had a price on it and they charged me the same for both. $1.97, so I got both of them for $1.97. That's all I have for you today on my thrift haul. That was a lot, and I got some really good deals. I hope that you enjoyed watching that. I'm going to do a couple projects and show you how I did them, so follow along. I'm gonna mix some DIY paint. And some salt wash. We're gonna make a thicker textured paint. I'm gonna stir it till we get like a cake batter. And this one, I want a really thick cake batter so it's still dripping off my spatula. So I wanna make it thicker. Now it just kind of chunks off. We're gonna paint a bunch of these up with the gray, with the old school gray. This one I'm going to do first. And I'm using my old paintbrushes because of the new DIY paintbrushes that are so good for painting that I can go ahead and use these. So I'm concentrating on that one area that was broke and making sure that I give it a lot of texture. That's pretty thick in there. That's why I wanted this mixture to be a little bit on the thicker side so that it looks like it's not even broke. You're gonna wanna go over this entire thing, making sure that you're pouncing and giving it a lot of different texture because that's what's going to give it that concrete textured look, look when it's all done. I'm gonna take these plastic birdhouses and I'm gonna take the DIY Old 57 paint and dry brush over the top of them. So they have a lot of texture because of the salt wash mixture that I used. You do not have to get in every little crevice. It'll save you the distressing time later. So just give it a nice dry brush. This is a very, very pretty color for spring. It's one of my absolute favorites from the DIY paint line. If you have ever used this paint, you know why it's just a favorite of mine because it's a bright, sunny color and it just brings everything to life. So these birdhouses, I just gave them a quick dry brush. For this trio of birdhouses, I want them to, them to look a little farmhouse-y. So the old school that was underneath and then taking a little vintage linen and dry brushing over the top. I went a little harder than that dry brushing, but it still you can still see some of those areas did not cover very well. I did get some white linen on the roof and I wanted to leave the roof old school, but you'll see in a later in the video how I fix that. Now this is a fun way that I like to paint. I take the white linen, there was barely any left in this jar, so I put some water in there and made it really, really super runny. Then I take my water bottle and spray this little birdie. He's done in all old school. And I just put this watery mixture right over the top of him and let it run down. Then I take my water bottle and spray back and let it run down off of him. Gives it a real concrete look. This little angel, I did the same thing with, and I wet them first so that the paint can really, really run. 
and then just went ahead and added the thinned out white linen and it's really pretty it's just a fun process to do so if you ever find a old garden statue that needs a little facelift try this i did take a paper toweling and dab dab some of it back that's another method if you think that you went too heavy with the paint you can just dab it right back make sure your paper toweling is wet and not dry. I thought I dabbed too much back, so I went back in with some white linen right over the top. You can do this as many times as you need to. Using the DIY clay base paint, it does distress back very easily. I just take a baby wipe and wipe back some of those areas. This has a rough finish. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that roof line with a little old school fixing that and making it look all nice. I wanted a fun look for my garden statue, so I took some old school and it really watered it down. And then I sprayed it again. So you can see she had the white on her and I put the old school all over her and giving her kind of a tarnished look. I really like the end um, result of this. So you can use any color you want. For this farmhouse birdhouse shelf, I went ahead and used the crockery stamp and the IOD black ink with the thin mount. I used the thin mount so that my um, stamp would have a place to be while I inked it up. And then I went ahead and put all three of these stamps onto the birdhouses and they really added a lot of fun to them, making them look nice and farmhousey. I sanded off the sign and now we're just gonna quickly paint both of these white. I am using the DIY vintage linen today. And you wanna make sure that you sand this off really good because the letters, when you put paint on top, the letters are gonna show right through if you don't make sure that you get all that off. Even though it doesn't feel like there is a ridge, there still is a ridge. I'm not gonna paint the sides of this because I'm gonna distress some of those, that dark wood edge back. But here it is, just a quick paint job on that one. Same with this one. This one might bleed through a little bit because that is quite the bright lettering on there. We're gonna go ahead and paint the frame and the base the same color. We'll fix that later. If you've been following me for a while, I make um, flower paintings with bees on them. I paint them myself. So I'm taking some DIYs liquid patina, putting it on this blank white board. You wanna make sure that you paint it white so there's a nice bright finish underneath. And I'm taking my own painting and laying it on top. I am working on a project of making my own rice paper. So that was one of the designs that I am going to be having available on my website. And then this second one is the second design that I will be available. This is some poppies with a little bee. On the edges, there's a little bit of white that it wasn't quite big enough. So my fix for that is to just go right over top of it with my frame color and making it look like the frame and the picture all are blending well together. So see, there's the white line and I just paint right over the top of it, including the frame. This really helped with accenting the, the yellow in that painting to paint the frame yellow. I went over with a little liquid sunshine to brighten it up a bit and just highlighting some of the areas of the frame so you can see both of the color yellows in there. I distressed back on the frame and it did bring some of that white back, which was really cool. And then I did overlap on my 
my picture a little bit. So I just took a baby wipe and I wiped some of that off as well. Now I'm going ahead and getting a coat of Big Top on everything that I painted up. I don't think I showed you this box, but I did paint this box in the two yellow colors, Queen Bee and Liquid Sunshine, giving it a nice fun garden look and distressed it back. So I'm giving it a coat of Big Top since it will be sitting outside. This little bird, I gave a coat of Big Top and my little angel um, statue as well. Everything is getting a nice fresh coat of Big Top, which is a really good sealer to seal in anything that you might have outside for some time. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you have a favorite, please drop that in the comments. If you'd like to order some DIY paint, IOD products, salt wash, Jamie Ray Vintage, or now my new rice paper, go to thepaintedphotographer.com and get all of your stuff there. I'll ship it right to your front door. Until next time, happy painting.